Coming up next, she's an Emmy, Grammy and Tony winner meet our 100 icon of the year, Cynthia Erivo. Harper Still makes the 100 list and The Advocate celebrates our trans youth. And Carl Schmidt tells us how his HIV status saved his life. Welcome to Cover to Cover, I'm Stephen Walker. In the 30th anniversary edition of the Out 100, Out Magazine celebrates a remarkable lineage of artists, disruptors, educators, groundbreakers, innovators and storytellers. In this year's issue, spotlights icons like Margaret Cho and Rachel Maddow, alongside inspiring Gen Z figures such as Chapel Rowan and Zia Wade. Up next, our Icon of the Year. Highlighting the theme, Together Unlimited. Let's hear what being Out's Icon of the Year means to Cynthia Arrivo. I am very, very proud to be on the cover of the Out 100 list. It's just a real moment in my life where I feel super proud to be who I am and proud to be out. It's sort of like a, I guess, a moment of full circle for me. I got to sort of think back on the people who have inspired me, you know, no dream is too big and no thought is too small. Everything that makes you you is what is going to make your art or what you want to do special. Well, I hope that the story of Wicked and the unlikely friendship that comes together within it is that those two beautiful women are so far from each other, so different, but somehow they manage to see the, the similarities and the likenesses between each other and they find a common ground and also just accept the differences that that they have and so if you connect if you find a way to find where the commonality is you'll probably find someone who's there to support you too and that difference is for me the spice of life be sure to read cynthia's full interview in the latest issue of out magazine and another trailblazer we're honoring in our Out 100 list is Harper Still. She stars in the documentary Will and Harper, and I had the chance to chat with Harper, Will Ferrell, and the film's director, Josh Greenbaum. I don't doubt that Will is my friend, but I'm not Andrew Steele anymore. It was just, whoa. Will Ferrell went on a road trip with his friend Harper Still, but their journey advocates for the whole community. Harper, special congratulations to you. You've had some great news. How does it feel to be featured on this year's Out 100 list? I, uh, I was on the cover of The Advocate and I was on the Out 100 list. This is the best thing that's ever come out of this whole project for me. Uh, these are the things I'm most proud of, so I thank the people over at Out. And Will, what does being an ally mean to you? It's the thing I am doing for my friend. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm an ally to this very special person uh, who I've known for, you know, close to 30 years. It's exciting to be considered an ally. I appreciate that. But, uh, you know, it's the natural progression and the evolution to our friendship. You recognize this guy? He's a, he, this is a Hollywood movie star. No. No. Okay. That's okay. Roll up the window. You said learning from Harper's journey. Did that or how did that influence your decision to no longer dress in drag for comedy? To give Will credit, I wasn't the catalyst for that. Will had been thinking the right kinds of thoughts long before yeah. I, I transitioned. So he's uh, smarter than this having just evolved over the last year. You know, comedy evolves as well. So. Uh, I continue to learn. Were you a little worried about how to talk to me when I came out to you? Yeah, probably a little nervous. There are no ground rules with friends, I'm telling you. Did anything hit the cutting room floor you'd love to share or you wish made the movie? Just me. Just stuff with me talking, <laughs> my face. I mean, that's it. I mean, it's, I'm still angry about it. There was a lot. <laughs> this is an anti-trans mob right here. <laughs> Oh, Harper, it's so great that now the transgender community are taking center stage in their own stories. Did the documentary achieve what you hoped it would? 
We'll see what it achieves. I mean, a lot of times representation suddenly means a little bit of a backlash, so we'll find out. You know, we had a trans tipping point, what, seven, eight, nine years ago, and it didn't tip as much as everyone thought it did. So, uh, you know, I'm just hopeful. I used to come out to these kind of places before, and then I transitioned and I got a little afraid. You know what I'm saying. They say things like this can change people's lives. I believe this documentary will save people's lives. I mean, I can't wait to watch it with my father-in-law. It's going to be an education and a good watch for him. I think that's who we're excited, you know, most about people, you know, like your father-in-law, uh, families who've possibly had difficulty discussing this topic uh, in the past. And, uh, you know, if we can reach out to a lot of people that I would consider my audience, uh, that, that'll be wonderful. Explore more incredible and inspiring stories of our Out 100 honorees in the latest issue of Out Magazine. The Advocate celebrates our trans youth in its latest issue. Let's meet the Gender Pool Project Champions. In this special issue, we're shining a light on 15 remarkable young LGBTQ plus individuals, artists, athletes, activists and influencers who are boldly using their platforms to create change and visibility. Leading the charge are the inspiring champions of the Gender Cool Project, dedicated to shining positive stories of transgender, non-binary and gender non-conforming youth. These incredible young people simply want to live life authentically and happily. So why is it still a struggle? Discover the full story in this month's Advocate magazine. Now it's time for the switch. In the latest season, Emmy-winning creator Carl Schmidt shares how HIV diagnosis transformed his life. HIV saved my life. I know that sounds weird, but HIV saved my life. It's made me realize not to take myself for granted. And when I do get knocked down or when things do go wrong, I cut myself a little slack, give myself some credit and get back up and keep going. I'm a producer, a journalist, and a broadcaster, and an HIV advocate. When I was 27 years old, I went and got a pretty standard HIV test. And uh, instead of being told, everything's fine, it's, you're negative, I got told, sorry, the test has come back positive. It felt like a red digital countdown clock started ticking backwards over my head. The first family member I told was my oldest brother, and his immediate reaction was, go to the airport, there'll be a plane ticket for you and get here right away so you're with us. And we sat down on this Skype call and it was my parents, my mom and my dad, and then my grandmother who um, was from Hungary. And she's a very heavy Hungarian, Eastern European accent. They pick up the Skype call and I'm sitting there with my brother and they're like, oh my gosh, we didn't know. What are you guys doing together for the weekend? Like, oh, how lovely. And I said, well, I've got some news to tell you. And I said, I just found out I'm HIV positive and there was this silence. And then my grandmother in her heavy Hungarian accent went, yeah, so what? I don't know what she thought I'd said, but it broke the ice immediately. It, it took the, the tension out of it. And I remember just the shock on my parents' faces and me saying to them, look, we can't change anything. So what we have to do now is educate ourselves as much as we can. The more you know, the less scary something is. I think that decision, that switch in my mind, that's probably one of the most positive steps I took immediately to change my attitude about things. And here we are 17 years later, I'm healthy and undetectable, and life's pretty great. I think the biggest obstacle was the internalized stigma. I would make jokes, and I genuinely believed that I was kidding. I would say, oh, you don't want to date me, I'm damaged goods. Subconsciously and without knowing it, I started believing it, which resulted in me going down some pretty self-destructive paths. Thank God something in me has moved beyond wanting to hurt myself. I now spend actually the majority of my time on television, online, digitally, through Plus Life, talking about ending HIV stigma. What's killing us and what continues to kill people is the stigma. The more we talk about HIV, 
in a real ways, the less it has the power to be stigmatized. Undetectable equals untransmittable. U equals U. That science only works if you are undetectable. We've got PrEP, we've got antiretrovirals. We can end this. We can stop this all right now. We, we all can do it, and we should. Thank you, Carl. You can watch the full season of The Switch at HIVplusmag.com. If you want to subscribe to Out Magazine, we have a special deal to help support LGBTQ plus journalism. Get our digital edition flipbook of Out and The Advocate for $9.95. Scan the QR code or go to out.com AC promo. That brings us to the end of the show. Thanks for joining us on this inspiring journey from cover to cover. Until next time, goodbye.